Hello, I'm Mel. I'm socialmediatraffic.com. How to make a link redirect from a YouTube video to a Facebook page or elsewhere. To make this possible, you'll need to have an associated website verified on your YouTube channel. And I've made a video showing how to do that, which you can see by clicking the link here. And to see how to make a link clickable to a related video, see how that is done by clicking this link here. These links are only clickable when you're watching the video on YouTube. Otherwise, I'll have a clickable link in the description box of the video you're watching. When you are at your channel dashboard page, click on channel. On your features page, you'll need to be in good standing. And to have your external annotations green, you'll need to have an associated website verified. If that's not already done, see my video as to how to do that. At my video manager page, I've selected the video in which I'd like to make a clickable link to my Facebook page. And I click edit. At the editing page, I've scrolled through the video and found where I'd like to make an image clickable through to my Facebook page. I've clicked on annotations and I now click add annotation and select spotlight and I move this box to surround the image I would like to make clickable and I can choose the color of a border, red. I then click link and from the drop down box select associated website. I'm at my blog, Great Social Media Traffic. It is essential that you have a WordPress blog. And in the plugins, you need to have installed one called Pretty Link. Click on Add New Link. In Target URL, I paste the URL for my Facebook page. You can choose to put a target URL to any other site you choose. It could even be an affiliate sales page. In this pretty link box, I can customize my link to suit. I click create and copy that link to clipboard. I've returned to my YouTube editing page and am continuing the job. In this box for the associated website, I take from my clipboard the pretty link I just created and customized, pasted in here. I preview the link and I like what I see. I return to my YouTube editing page for the final touch. I'll add another annotation. I'll select speech bubble from the drop down box and in here I'll type words to the effect Click here to go to my Facebook page. I'll move the box over the image and increase the font size to 16. I'll enlarge the box to accommodate that. I'll color the box red and I'll change the font color to white. It is essential to click apply changes after each annotation. When the annotations were made, they registered down here and it is now a matter of playing the video so that the length of these coincides with the duration of this image. I have moved this red marker along to the point just prior to the image disappearing and I have moved each annotation up to meet the marker. I apply these changes and I return to the video viewing page. I played my video until I saw my image appear with the speech bubble above it. It is live and I'll click it and expect to go to my Facebook page. My social media traffic Facebook page has opened up successfully and I trust this tip will be of use to you too.